full team. Um, they've all got like their own individual YouTube channels as well. Like they're, they're so big, they get invited to cons to, to do talks. Right. Um, they, uh, they they mostly did Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Um, obviously, that's a very 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 popular series. Um, they've done a, they've done a few other things as well. They have done a couple other series. They've been doing it for a long time. Uh, Something Witty Entertainment is very very good. Very very good. Um, they, they've uh, abridged the Sword Art Online. They're still in the process of doing that. And I think there's a few other ones as well. Um, there is another one. And they're currently doing the Goblin Slayer series. That's really cool. Get the fucking YouTube channel. I'm subscribed to them though. I'll have to get it for you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Team Four Star did uh, Helsing Bridge. They did Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. They've done Dragon Ball Bridge. They've done a few bridges. And, uh, what's really great about the Anime uh, Bridge is um, So they'll actually insert their own animation into the anime now. And I'm fairly sure the only like support they get in terms like monetarily is usually through things like Patreon. Because well, of, obviously they, they'll get a copyright hit um, with a lot of the um, a lot of the abridging. I did I did have a little bit of good news during the stream though yesterday. Somebody showed up and said. What's this? It keeps showing up on my homepage. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Grimjack. Grimjack is the channel that's doing Goblin Slayer Bridge. It's really good. Really, really. Sorry, please continue. But yeah, I was just amazed that it, it actually showed up on somebody's homepage. So yeah, I'm, I'm getting. It, it might be very slight, but just a little bit of a push from YouTube. Good, yeah. good. I'm glad. I want, I want it. I want it to grow, dude. I want, I want yeah. more people to see it. You know, you put a lot of effort into it, and. Um, <laughs> I think that you know, uh, if you put a lot of effort into something, it should it should pay off. It's not always the case on YouTube. It's not really a meritocracy here, unfortunately. No, no. It, 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 for those who don't know, it, 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 it takes me two and a half days, most of two and a half days, to make one episode of, of Redneck. Now, even if it didn't go any further than what it is right now, I would still do it. I have a lot of fun making episodes and a heck of a lot of fun watching it with people on the premieres. And just a, just a moment for a second. <clears throat> Moustache. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, there's actually uh, two more articles I wanted to go through, boys, and then we can have a bit of a chit chat afterwards. Um, so, okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's a bit, it's a bit hey, you do you. I'll sit here and have it. You do that, mate. You, you, you wake yourself up. Pour coffee into your eyeballs. Um, yeah, so uh, we have a bit more knife crime in the UK, and uh, luckily, no one, I don't think anyone died in this particular. Uh, shopkeeper pinned to the floor with knife to his throat in Who's It's always nice uh, when you hear stories like this over something as pathetic as Is this a jail? Nope, this was in a store, in a shop. Shimony. I mean, I know cigarettes are expensive these days. Yeah, they don't. Were they at least uh, luxury cigarettes? Like, were they... <laughs> Um, well, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, a gang who held a shopkeeper... A fucking gang. A gang who held a shopkeeper a knife for thousands of pounds. Good. Uh, Rocketus? Oh. Nope. Mah Mah Mahalingham. So, that's a fucking mouthful, isn't it? Um, hello, my friends. My name is Rocketus Mahalingham. Uh, was left... Uh, you know, if you say it in an Indian accent, it comes out easier. Uh, was left oh with, with his neck <laughs> at his nun's corner spa shop in Grimsby. Oh, Grimsby, that makes sense. For those who don't know, Grimsby is a town in the north, and it's pretty much the arsehole of England. <laughs> Real quick, uh, your sister from another mister is in your chat. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. Oh. Hey, baby. My, uh, yeah. How's it going, sis? What's going on? Ma uh, for those who don't know, uh, Mama Minnie out there in chat is my real life daughter. She's my oldest daughter. Oh, nice. Um, let's see. Now, CCTV captured a moment when they were the knife the shop and the floor. While two of the men held the knife to Mr. Mahalingam. Mahalingam! Another stole around £4,000 in cigarettes. And tobacco and three hundred and fifty. The shop and his money turned to oh. Hard bastard. Uh, the violent robbery on 96%. Why is this on? Why, why is this only in the news now? Oh, because they've been in jail now, haven't they? Oh! Uh, Paul Blake, who's made John Murray, took 
two minutes to rob in summer Hallingham's uh, shop around 10 p.m. Blake and Page were convicted after a trial. Well, I mean, I'm glad that uh, no one was actually hurt. That's, uh, that's good news. That's good news. I hope they get. What was this? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Grimsby Crown Court. Um, Blake, 39, of no fixed address, received six years and three months of robbery. Should be harsh for five minutes. And 21 months for possession of a knife. That should also be harsher. Uh, his sentences were run concurrently. Um, Page 37 of Harold Street, was six years and three months for robbery. Ten months for robbery, the other guy, and eight months for possessing a knife. Uh, so the, the sentencing isn't particularly harsh for these, these gentlemen, but at least at least they've been nicked and sorted out. Now, so, so, you know, good news, good news there, folks, good news. I had to drop you some love, brother. Hey, first day of class today, this thing might get ready. Awesome, awesome. Good luck with that, good luck with that. And uh, the final article is uh, degeneracy. Degeneracy. See, that they're so shocked that they're completely smart. Yeah. <laughs> degeneracy on the internet, I am shocked. Yeah, and uh, chances are most of you would have seen this on your Twitter feeds in the last couple of days, especially if you follow people like that. And, um, you know, the second that I saw it, I knew that Jeff Holliday would respond with a snarky comment. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've been kind of away lately. Uh, I know you don't care about the NFL, but I've, <laughs> I've been in mourning the last couple of days because our quarterback decided to retire at the last minute. Oh, damn. Oh. So, uh, yeah, I haven't been on Twitter much yet. But I might have seen it. Yeah, the chances are you might have seen it. Um, um, I'm doomed with talking about it. Now, um, Jeff, Here I love I you, go. but you're um, oh. you are, you're a, you're a, yeah. oh, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so here's the article, ladies and gents. Are you ready? Mm. I don't think you are. Woman fights the Patreon by letting entire music festival. Entire music festival. Entire music festival. Take long hits out of her bottle. I did. I'm not ready. You know, I have not. It wasn't as bad as what I. I how you put it? Like well, it comes, it comes complete with a picture, probably yeah. does. But oh! A picture that I can't show on the stream is the issue. And uh, I'm going to throw the link in the chat so you guys can get a look uh, at this degeneracy. Now, look, I I'm not one for kink shaming or anything like that. You know, I generally, generally don't judge. Uh, you know, I've, I've done some fairly questionable things in my life. Um, said I am a dad now, a husband, a man of responsibility, god damn it. And uh, this just makes me sad. Now I'm gonna read the headline again because some people in the chat are just like, what? I'll read it again. I'll read it again for you folks. <clears throat> Woman fights the patriarchy by letting entire music festival take bong hits out of her butthole. What does that have to do with the Patriot? I don't, I'm not seeing the connection. Well, that's the thing though, isn't it? You know, a lot of these uh, quote-unquote feminists are uh, fighting the patriarchy in the most, um... I don't know how I would describe this. I'm actually generally lost for fucking words, which I believe. Uh, I don't know, I don't know how, how you would describe it. Um, the, the most degenerate way possible, I suppose. Uh, Snatch Adams. An extreme burlesque performer and hater of the patriarchy has become a viral sensation uh, after revealing that she recently invited all the attendees of a music festival to take turns smoking marijuana out of her anus. Now... Uh, in an Instagram post on Sunday, Adams said she made the offer at the unnamed, fe <clears throat> unnamed festival in an attempt to one-up her quote-unquote art project 
Because that's what this is, folks. It, it's art. And if you call it art, you're not a whore anymore. You know, I remember when art was like good paintings <coughs> and drawings and things, you know? See that the dogs are next door are even mad about it. Yeah. <coughs> you know? <coughs> Yeah, behold, for I have become Human Bong, destroyer of patriarchy. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm sure the uh, the patriarchy in this extremely gynocentric society that we inhabit has been completely destroyed by this. Now, most of us are disgusted by it, let's, let's be honest. Yeah, I mean, I've done some pretty questionable things in my life. I mean, I once beat a pizza to death because I thought <laughs> it was trying to kill me. Uh, but... Uh, uh, Not a community, you know. Find close to me, we just heard in the ship. Get done. Yeah, there, there are some stories that I have not told on either, either one of my channels, and I would never tell people about some of some of the things that I've done. Like, 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 uh, because you know, too far. Quest to be uh, more of a snaggy bastard, That'll as we call it. Scary. But this, you know, I never bragged about it. I don't put it on friggin' Instagram, uh, and it was never an ideological battle. It was With the general because death, I had too many drinks. Our boys can secure um, this refinery. If you want, if you want to smoke weed, cool. to Anchorage cool. proper. If, if you want to, you've uh, helped pave the way for bomb. taking the city back awesome. from the red soldier. Um, ha work. If you want to do it out of someone's That'll control, complete this portion of your train. You know, who am I to fucking report judge? to your superior for debriefing? Who am I? That said, dismissed. If you, you know, if, especially if you're a lady, or you have a gender, I think it matters with a gender, really. Uh, if you go to a, a festival, uh, allow yourself to be tied up. Good and, job you know, making it through that simulation. So that your All you have to do now is open the armor. Is and as and agreed, you're you get your share. Feel and free to take whatever you want. Our the records are right, there's plenty for all of us. Out of your bum. So, uh, it, so it's a bum bong? A bum bong, that's right. Uh, or butt bong. Uh, if you do that, then um, your dad, you know, he's, he's, he's either going to kill himself or he's going to kill you or both. 